The Rapsil Burlap Vivitar HD Camcorder How To. The battery cover is on the side of the camera. Replace the batteries regularly and check for signs of leaking. It's a good idea to remove the batteries during storage. The SD card is accessed behind a rubber panel on the underside of the camera. This 16GB SD card is the maximum supported by the camera and should meet our laboratory's needs with capacity for about 3 hours high definition recording. Before you start recording, there are a few things to check. Adjust the strap so it's comfortable for you. It's a simple Velcro system. Open the screen panel on the left of the camera. Next to the screen, there are three buttons. Delete, Playback and Mode. On the camera there's also a menu button, navigation buttons and the power button. Press this button to switch on or off the camera. The camera has four modes. Using the mode button, you can switch between recording modes and the current mode is reflected on screen with an icon. There are three recording modes, video, stills and audio. The fourth mode is playback mode, which you can enter and exit using the playback button. To check that you'll be recording in the video quality you want, look for the icon at the top of the screen. If it's not what you want, or if you'd like to check out some of the other settings of, on the camera, click the menu button. This will bring up a menu and you can navigate up and down the options using the navigation keys. In the centre of these keys is the OK button, which you can press to select or confirm. To exit or cancel, use the menu button. Once the camera is set up how you want, recording is really easy. Just press the button on the back of the camera with your thumb. You should see the record icon on screen when the camera is recording. same button stops recording and triggers capture in other modes. On the top of the camera there are wide and tele zoom buttons. Using your index and middle fingers you can control the zoom during record which can be up to two times and is indicated on screen. The right hand navigation button doubles as an LED button during record so you can illuminate your subject. To check what you've recorded, hit the playback button. Now you'll see the first frame of a video file and you can navigate between them using the navigation keys. Press the OK button to play a file. If you have stills and audio you can also view the or listen to them in playback mode. If you want to delete a file, press the delete button. You'll be asked if you really want to delete the file and you can confirm this. But be warned, once you press OK the next video is automatically selected for deletion so be careful not to press OK twice. You'll need to press the menu button to cancel. When you've finished with the camera, power off and consider removing the batteries if you won't be using it again for a while. 
If you don't have a card reader, there's a mini USB to connect your PC. There's also video out for direct playback on a larger screen.